insert coin. Sometimes I'll go over at lunch and start playing the games and miss a class after lunch or something. Do you think that video games are uh, going to be here to stay, or are they just a uh, fad that's going to go away? They'll be here to stay. I think they're going to be around for a long time. Because they say we're living in a space age, and these games are space age. 1980 was almost this sort of defining year for the rise of arcades. Between 1980 and 1982, video game arcades had doubled in size, the peak having 13,000 video game arcades in North America alone. I mean, arcades in the late 70s were sort of counterculture, mm -hmm. sort of, you know, not the underbelly of society, but kind of the younger groups. Beforehand, they were seedy, you didn't know exactly where to go, you might get stabbed in the face, touch a bodily fluid. When they started in the early 80s, especially 1980, there were not like these scummy pool halls or anything like that. They were lights and loud noises and people generally having a great time. Not buying drugs. Yes. With games like Centipede, Pac-Man, Galaxian, all of a sudden you have these colorful games and now it appeals to everyone, not just adults, now kids too. But I would just remember loving this handful of change and going there and playing those games. And as it dwindles, you get happier and happier for some reason. Even when it's gone, you're like, ah, this is this is time that I don't need to get back. It's hard not to just, you know, romanticize the idea of walking into a dark arcade and hear all the machines mm -hmm. making their sounds, the pinball machines, the arcade machines. They had like the stand-up arcade units and they had the cocktail cabinets which were oh, the tabletop ones, which were awesome because that one you could actually sit comfortably and play. You like video games, you like drinking, put them together. Get a cocktail cabinet. It's got tempered glass so you can put your drink right on the game. Cocktail cabinets were really good for multiplayer games because the screen would uh, switch sides for whoever's turn it was and each player could sit on either side of the cabinet and they were really slick looking. You started to see cocktail tables in the fronts of restaurants and things like that. More people were exposed to games outside of arcades. It works a whole lot better than putting your drink on an iPad. I learned that the $800 way. <laughs>